So now let's refine the animation path curve by using the control points. So uh, to start uh, refining the control points, first of all, I do need to make an animation. So I'm just going to make a simple animation of a circle right over here. So here I have a circle, so I need to make a curve animation. So I'm going to add in a frame over here by pressing F5 and I'm going to quickly make an animation. So I enable the transformation to move the uh, pivot point right over here. And this is something we done in the last lesson as well. So now I'm in my transformation tool. And to have a, a curve path animation, I'm going to click over here and I'm going to go to uh, coordinate and control points, separate the co coordinate points right here. So I have an R type of an animation. So I set the keyframe by moving this a bit, go over here onto the side and then just move this forward. So you have a simple animation just like that. So after that, I'm going to go on to view and see the controls. So I'm going to go to show, click on control so I can see the arc right over there. But let's say I want to edit this arc. Of course, you can go over here and then uh, add in some more keyframes. But usually it's suggested not to add in keyframes as much as possible because keyframes are very, very tedious to work with. So to work with control points, I'm going to go to Windows right over here. And from Windows, I'm going to go to Toolbar and I'm going to click on Control Point. This is what we are going to focus on in this lesson. So once we go to Control Point, uh, you can see that new toolbar actually appears right here, which is right over here onto the top. So there you go, there's the control point. So you can actually go over here and you can see that there's a sort of a curve going on right there. And if you were to click it, what you can do is it gives you control whether to make it straight or not. So you can actually go over here onto control and you can click on uh, these value right here, just like this, uh, to make it straight or not so this is zero as you can see if i were to press minus one you can see that it's quite straight but if i were to do something like let's say about 0.5 you can see that it goes the other way around so if i were to press one press enter you can see that you get this sort of an animation so minus 0 0.5 you can see that it is straight but not very straight right here so that's one way to actually use the control point right over here. And once you actually change it, you can see that you can nudge it around to the right one over here or minus one and it nudges it on to the left. So it's not adding any new keyframes. It's actually just working around with the existing uh, frames right over here. So if you had to go over here and press one, you can see that again, it's very straight onto the left side only. And if I were to press minus one, you can see that it really pulls on the left side right over here. That is because we actually have this value right over here, just like this. So you can control out the path uh, by using these numbers. That's one way, uh, just like that. The other way is to press P on your keyboard. So let's say I want to add in a control point over here. I'm not adding new keyframes. I'm just adding a control point. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to press P, just click it right over here. I need to select out the line first. So right over here, I'm gonna press P and you can see that a control point has been added. So I can actually drag this around and you can see that this is not a new keyframe, but I can actually change around the path just like this. So just right here, let me pull this uh, one out here as well. So I'm gonna press P. So my mouse has to be on top. And if I had to actually move this around, now you can see that this sort of an animation actually happens just like that. And that is how you actually use the control points for maximum uh, maximum use uh, without adding any new keyframes. So you can also go to constant keyframe right here. So constant keyframe is what happens when the keyframe jumps, as you can see. So you don't want any in between frames, then you might want to use the constant keyframe, then it actually lets you jump from one keyframe to the other, as you can see. So you go over here, let's add in another uh, keyframe right here. Let me press F5. And if I were to actually move this out and use this as a constant keyframe. So let me just go over here, constant keyframe. You can see that the animation will jump at this point, but it will be smooth over here. So if I were to play this, you can see that it jumps. And that is how you use control points to refine the path animation inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.